Today's video, I'm going to be ditching my trail jack in favor of a much smaller, lighter, more compact, more versatile bottle jack with an adapter. So stick around. Now before we get started on this video, I'm gonna go over a couple things that has been going on in the last week and get you up to date. First up, TDI Diesel swapped RX-7 motors here, got the trans, it's out of a 2002 Nissan uh, Frontier two-wheel drive, and I have a full cabinet full of parts. I'm basically in parts collecting phase. This whole cabinet is just packed full of wiring harnesses, new parts, and uh, old parts off of the car that I need to get working on but obviously I don't have that much time to work on it but I am working on it and it is a thing that it is gonna happen I promise next up Harbor Freight sent me the new Badland Apex 5500 UTV long drum winch I've had this for a few weeks now you can see it right here it is a little guy and I am putting it on my Subaru I've been busting my butt on this two bumper for the Subaru so I can install the winch on it I have it pretty much completely done and I've been working on this video for you guys I believe the winch is gonna be coming out on like March 10th if you guys haven't seen the other videos this is my 98 Forester it's got a 2 inch Anderson design fab lift kit and this is the bumper that I was gonna building and it bolts up here but I was driving home from work this is my daily driver and the engine seized on me so this cam seized and then it broke this camshaft pulley right here here is the uh, camshaft pulley right here in a million pieces. This is the crank pulley. The key on the crankshaft actually spun a little bit, you can see, on this crank pulley. So the motor in this thing is totally smoked. This guy is an interference engine. If you don't know what that means, that means if things spin independently of each other, the valves hit the pistons and destroy everything. So this motor is smoked and done for. And uh, has a lot of brand new parts on it because I just did the head gaskets on it, so it's pretty disappointing. And the fact that I was building this bumper, I had it almost done. So now I have a new engine coming from a junkyard that's probably going to be another week. Well, enough about my problems. Let's take a look at this jack. This kit is from 911 Motorsports. I'll leave a link in the description. It is about $50, and it comes with this uh, jack plate this extension, and then the tube that welds to the top of the jack. So it's very, very simple. It's just, just an inch and a half tube that you weld to the top of your jack. That's literally all it is. As long as you can have a grinder and a welder, you can install this, super easy. Now, I'm gonna go above and beyond. I actually use this at King of the Hammers. You can see the dirt. This is Johnson Valley sand that uh, I, I'm an idiot and I didn't take any pictures or any video uh, when I was using it. Uh, a guy uh, had broken axle shaft on his Toyota, so we used it to hold the Toyota up when he was doing the axle shaft. It worked really well, except the base of this is really small, so it kind of sunk into the sand and got a little bit sideways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of quarter inch, because that's all I have, I'm going to make, cut it out of my old Jeep skid plate, make a little bit bigger base plate, something this can slide into to kind of double the surface area of the bottom. Now I really like this because normally, right, you twist this to make it taller. So we already have an inch taller right here. I can throw this extension on right here and this on here and you're good to go. This is so much smaller, lighter, compact. You don't even need a 12 ton. This is kind of overkill. I got the 12 ton one because I wanted to be able to use this on my one ton truck and my trailer. If I had my Jeep on the trailer, I want to be able to use it. And it has worked really well. So let's make that plate real quick and then we'll come back and I'll show you it all together. I have this seven by seven plate that I have cut out and cleaned up. And then with this quarter inch little baby piece of angle iron I had laying around, I made the sides it's gonna slide into. These are gonna go kind of like this. 
Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. And this can slide in and out of here. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you found this little tip and uh, trick for the bottle jack that make it safer, more versatile. I actually am able to fit this whole setup in my trail uh, box that I take on the trail all the time that has spare fluids and uh, parts and stuff like that that I have strapped down in the back of the Jeep. I'm able to just put this in there and it doesn't really take up any extra space in my rig than I had before. And of course, if you wanna follow me on social media, I am at MuddyBeards4x4. We've got a website, MuddyBeards4x4.com. We've got an Amazon store on there. Click that link, help support the channel by buying stuff through our link. Uh, and check out 911 Motorsports. I'll leave that link down in the description below. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the trail. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make. Or possibly boring, I just want a life that is worth every day exploring. I